So come along with me. We're gonna go for a walk and talk with Kiko, where I'm gonna brain dump some fun science facts that I've learned since I left being a science teacher for 10 years, and now I'm a personal trainer. All right, so let's get started. Mitochondria, that's right the powerhouse of the cell. There's some new interesting things about mitochondria that I didn't realize until pretty recently. Every cell in your body has mitochondria and its job is to power the cell and allow it to carry out whatever functions that cell is responsible for. Sperm, for example. Every sperm has somewhere around, they estimate 50 mitochondria in it. So in one cell, 50 mitochondria. And that is one of the lowest numbers of mitochondria found in a cell. Its only purpose is to help the tail of the sperm move to get it where it needs to go. So think about a female, um, unfertilized egg has 100,000 mitochondria in it. Now this is the part that blows my mind. Mitochondrial DNA, it is not a combination of your mother and your father's genetics, which makes you who you are phenotypically and genotypically. Instead, mitochondrial DNA carried in your mother's egg when you were conceived, it's never changed. So literally every cell in your body has identical copies of your mom's DNA in it that hasn't been altered at all by your father. And the same is true for your mom. Her body, its mitochondrial DNA is exactly the same as her mother's. And this goes back, I don't even know how far, but that DNA, it isn't messed with unless for some reason it's mutated. So I always thought that was pretty cool that you have your great, 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 great matriarchal ancestors' DNAs in, in every cell of your body unchanged. We hope you'll join us for part two, where we're going to talk about mitochondria and your fitness journey.